They are asking me to plot the following graph, y equals 2x minus 3. So I need my sharp pencil, I need a ruler, because it's time to draw something. Yeah? And before I start, y equals 2x minus 3, I realize is a linear equation. And if I draw that, I get a line, a straight line. Yeah, now all lines are straight, because otherwise we would call them a curve or something else. Yeah, but a linear equation, when you draw it, is a line. And what do I need to draw a line? Well, just a quick revision of what we already know. If I sketch my vertical y-axis and my x-axis horizontally, <clears throat> and if I want to draw a line, do I need a coordinate, just one of them? Do I know now what my line is going to look like if I have one coordinate? Well, if I take my ruler through that coordinate, the line, for instance, could go like this. But it could also go like this or like that. So with one coordinate, I actually have an infinite amount of lines yeah, which I can draw through that coordinate. So just one coordinate is not going to be enough to draw my line. What do I need? Well, if I have two coordinates, now, this is my line. Are there any other possibilities? No. So I need two coordinates to draw a line. However, we always find three coordinates. And why is that? Because that third coordinate is going to show me if I made a silly mistake, yes or no. Because if that third coordinate is on the same line as the previous two, then I have enough confidence and I can tell myself, well, I didn't make any silly mistakes, this is my line. Yeah. But if that coordinate, for instance, is not there, but you plot it there, then you can tell yourself, well, they should be on one line, and they're not. So I made a mistake somewhere. Perhaps I calculated it wrongly, or perhaps I plotted it wrongly, but you made a mistake. It could be this coordinate that is wrong, yeah? so your line should be like this. Yeah, perhaps this one should go a little bit up. Maybe that coordinate is wrong, yeah, your line goes like this and this one should actually be somewhere there or maybe that coordinate is wrong yeah because your line looks like this anyway to draw a line you only need two coordinates well we find three to check our work and if they are not on the same line we check our calculations and we check how we plot it and if they are on one line we can confidently draw that line okay so back to the question y equals 2x minus 3 and I'm going to find three coordinates and I'm going to organize my work in, yeah, I call that a fishbone table. Um, you can forget that word, but it looks like a dead fish, dead fish to me. Yeah, so I always talk about fishbone tables when I'm doing, um, gra when I'm graphing um, equations or functions. And I can choose an x-coordinate I'm going to find the corresponding y-coordinate. Yeah? And I choose small numbers for x. Yeah? Not too big, because otherwise it's going to be difficult to plot. For instance, I could choose for x is 1. Now when x is 1, what is my y-coordinate? Then y is 2 times 1 minus 3. Yeah. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3 minus 1. That's it. Choose something else for x. Um, you can do any number really. But uh, if I take 1000, it's going to be difficult to plot that on a piece of paper. So I'm going to take 2. Yeah, and I'm going to check what is y when x is 2, 2 times x, so 2 times 2 minus 3, that is 4, minus 3, that is 1, there we go. And one more number, what shall we do? 3, yeah, okay, let's go a little bit crazy, let's take 4. Well, when x is 4, y is 2 times 4, minus 3, which is 8, minus 3, and that is 5. Okay, so really you can choose any number for x and you find the corresponding y coordinate. Eh? So I have three points now. My first point is 1 minus 1. My second point is 2, 1. And my third point to check my workings, 4 and 5. Eh? x is 4, y is 5. Okay, now I drew these lines, a eh, horizontal and vertical line, and I'm going to put a y there, and horizontally is my x, and the origin 
and I have to decide upon a skill, huh? that's very important, I'm going to do two blocks is one. But if you decide upon a particular skill, that skill has to be the same throughout your axis. Huh? So four, and over here it's minus one, then minus two. So you cannot say two blocks is one, and then all of a sudden two blocks is five. No, if two blocks is one, then everywhere on that x-axis has to be two blocks is one. You can change that for your y-axis if you want. You can use a different skill. Yeah, but I'm going to do again two blocks is one, two, three, four, and over here minus one, minus two, minus three. Now I'm doing this with uh, a marker, uh, so otherwise you can't see, but you do this with a very sharp pencil. All right, now let's plot those points. I'm just gonna um, put them here. We have point one minus one. So one minus one, there we are. I'm gonna plot it there. And we have point two, one, two, one. That is over there. And we have point four, five, four, and it doesn't fit. Oh, that's a bummer, yeah? But am I worried? No, because that was my checker, wasn't it? And to check if those two are correct or not. Now it doesn't fit, so what will I do? I'm not going to start all over. I'm just going to make another point. Yeah. So I'm going to choose another value for x. Let's say if I do that on, I can, I can fit that here. Let's say three because that's what we want to choose anyway. Yeah? Three. Y equals two times three minus three. Yeah. Two times x minus three. Two times three is six minus three is three. So I have another point three three. Yeah? So don't get worried when it doesn't fit. Just choose another point. Three, one, two, three. There we go. And I'm taking my ruler and they should be all on one line. And otherwise I'm gonna check my work. But they are on one line. And you take some care and you put it carefully there, your ruler, and you draw a nice long confident line with your sharp pencil over there. You see that? Not a shaky small line, no, a long confident line going through both axes like that. Okay, and um, I'll label it y equals 2x minus 3. I'm just putting the equation next to my line to show everybody um, what I've done. All right, so that is the graph of the linear equation y equals 2x minus 3. I find three points. Yeah, I only need two to draw the line, but a third one to check my work. Yeah, and I find that by substitution. I have three coordinates. I plot those coordinates. If it doesn't fit, just find the fourth coordinate that does fit. All right, I can choose anything for x. I find the corresponding y, and then I can draw my straight line. Now it's your turn. All the best.